Okay, so here's the scenario. You've got a damaged section of rope and what you don't know is you don't know the extent of the damage inside. So what we need to do is we need to bypass this damaged section of rope with a knot. And the thing is, what we're going to do is use the best and most secure knot so that we can determine how strong the rope is after we have bypassed that section of damaged rope. Um, what I'll do is I will tie the knot first and then I will go into the actual knot itself and as to why I would use that particular knot to bypass the damage in my rope. So as you can see, in front of me I've got my damaged section of rope, but my rope says it can no longer act in any of my scenes. And so what I've done here is I've got a stunt double, and what we're going to do now is use the stunt double here. So here's my rope laid out in front of me. The damaged section is marked with the blue tape. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass it so that the rope runs over the palm of my hand like so. I'm then going to take it and pass it the damaged piece underneath and bring it around over the top and allow the rope to come through so that it's now to the right hand side of the standing part. So there's the damaged piece and it's to the right hand side. The next thing I'm going to do is take the right hand side and just bring it around over the palm of my hand again for a second time. And you can now see here, we have got one, two, three passes, and the middle one is the damage part at that point there. The next thing I do is I go underneath the right hand one and I pull the damage part through. So take the damage part through and pull enough through. What you're looking to do is pull all of the damage through and a little bit extra. So pull all of the damage through and then we have it so it's come underneath this one here. The next thing we do is we take that damage section and we pass it over the top of those two there. So pass it over the top and then take it underneath those two. So over the top of those two, take it underneath those two there, pull through the excess and now we have it, as you can see, for those of you who recognize your knots, we have now tied the Alpine Butterfly Loop. And the Alpine Butterfly Loop is probably one of the best knots that you can actually use for tying it. You just dress it up nice and smartly. The beautiful thing about the Alpine Butterfly Loop, and the other thing you'll notice is if your rope is completely cut, we now have the Alpine Butterfly Loop, the Alpine Butterfly Bend is the yellow one, but both of these are tied in exactly the same way. So we now have our rope, we can now dress it nice and smartly and firmly, and one thing about the Alpine Butterfly Loop or Bend is that it is a very secure knot, it's not prone to shaking free, and the other good thing about it is, if you do a, an internet search on knot strength chart, you will find that the Alpine Butterfly Loop or Bend is rated very highly in strength. If you, whenever you tie a knot in a piece of rope, that knot will reduce the strength of your rope. Now the Alpine Butterfly, it actually only reduces the strength of a rope by 25%. So if, say for example, we have a break in the rope like this one, we don't know exactly how many of the fibers inside are broken and how reduced the strength of our rope is at this section here. But by tying in the Alpine butterfly loop, and the blue tape here shows the broken bit, at that point there, by tying this in, we know that the actual strength of the rope itself has only been reduced by 25%. In other words, it's 75% as good as it was previously. And so that is how we bypass the damaged part of the rope, and that is why I prefer to use the Alpine Butterfly Bend or Loop because of its strength.